वेलकम लर्नर इन योर साइंस क्लास लर्नर इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैड लर्न अबाउट एनर्जी गिविंग एंड बॉडी बिल्डिंग फूड एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेनली लर्न अबाउट प्रोटेक्टिव फूड सो फूड हैविंग वाइटामिन एंड मिनरल्स आर कॉल प्रोटेक्टिव फूड एंड वाइटामिन एंड मिनरल्स आर द न्यूट्रिय विच प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम डिजीज एंड कीप अस हेल्दी and they help in the normal functioning of our body so fruits vegetables milk are the some of the sources of vitamins and minerals our body needs very small quantity of vitamin and minerals and we have the different types of vitamins vitamin a vitamin b c d e and k are the main type of vitamins that help us to stay healthy and our body needs these vitamin in very small quantity so let us learn about sources and the functions of some of these vitamins so first of all vitamin a we get the vitamin a from the spinach carrot and especially from the yellow fruits like the mango and papaya then milk butter and egg and this vitamin a is necessary for good eyesight and healthy skin so in during the period of the covid 19 when we are using the most of our mobiles and the laptop and other technology we should take the vitamin a rich food to maintain our good eyesight next is the vitamin b and the soya bean is the richest source of the vitamin b except the green vegetables milk beans peas also contain the vitamin b and this vitamin b is required for the healthy skin and the proper functioning of nerves and next is the vitamin c so all the citrus fruit are contain vitamin c orange lemon tomato green vegetable are the sources of vitamin c and amla is the richest source of vitamin c and this vitamin c is mainly required for the proper functioning of our blood vessels and also needed for the healthy gums and teeth and it also help in healing of wounds and next that is the vitamin d and we obtain the vitamin d mainly from the sunlight and the milk egg butter and the cod liver oil in the this vitamin d is mainly required for the healthy bones and teeth and do you know our body makes vitamin d in the presence of sunlight and this vitamin d is very much necessary for the absorption of calcium for the strengthening of our bones and teeth now beside the vitamins our body also needs many different minerals for staying healthy and active so let us discuss the different type of minerals like calcium phosphorus iron and iodine which are the important part of our diet and minerals are also needed by our body in very small amount so calcium that we obtain from the milk and the green leafy vegetable curd and the banana and it is required for mainly the healthy bones and teeth next is the phosphorus and phosphorus also we get from the milk egg fish green leafy vegetables and pulses and it also required for the healthy bones and teeth both calcium and phosphorus are the main components of our bones and our bones are made up of calcium and phosphorus so for healthy bones we need the calcium and phosphorus and next the main important nutrient of our body that is the iron and you know that from where we get the iron we get the iron from spinach 
कैरेट पोमेग्रेनेट एप्पल जेगरी बीन्स एग्स शेलफिश एक्सेट्रा सो आयरन इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आर ब्लड आयरन हैव मेनली द थ्री मेन फंक्शन इट हेल्प इन कैरिंग द ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम लंग्स टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड इट आल्सो इंक्रीज आर इम्यूनिटी एंड हेल्प इन एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन इन द बॉडी सो यू नो दैट आयरन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हेमोग्लोबिन एंड दिस होमोग्लोबिन इज द रेड कलर पिगमेंट दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन आर ब्लड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट हेमे एंड द ग्लोबिन हेमे मीन्स आयरन एंड ग्लोबिन मीन्स प्रोटीन सो दिस हेमोग्लोबिन इज मेनली नीडेड फॉर द कैरिंग द ऑक्सीजन टू द ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ बॉडी फ्रॉम द लंग्स and it also protect us from various infection and next nutrient that should be present in our diet that is the iodine so we obtain the iodine from iodized table salt seafood like fish and the prawns and this iodine is mainly necessary for the proper functioning of thyroid gland this thyroid gland is present in the neck region and it secretes the hormone that is the thyroxin hormone this thyroxin hormone is needed for the normal growth of the body so iodine is very much necessary for the normal growth and the development of our children and the severe deficiency of the iodine causes the mental retardation so this is all about the protective food Thank you and have a nice day.